Paula Tip at Crafty Hope, and I am working back again in my uh, small junk journal. This is page four. Now, don't worry, you didn't miss page three. Page three was a hot mess, and I didn't think it was worth your time or mine to share the process I did with it. I am keeping the page, but I just didn't think that anybody wanted to see that that hot mess. So it's um it's on the back page. You'll get a glimpse of it in a little bit. So I threw down um as you see the page there is just a purple like I think it's just like a printer paper paper and um, I threw down some red and some like light green paint on there and I took a texture tool and kind of ran it through there and here's you can see that hot mess there there's just absolutely nothing redeeming about it that um, y'all need to see I think I was mostly playing with some materials I had so once I got this page dry I took a a um, why can't I ever think of the name of those <laughs> they it's an oil pastel it's a water soluble oil pastel and white and just made some little dashes in there to draw some interest and then I pulled out my bag of hand carved stamps and a black stamp pad and I'm just throwing down a few stamps I didn't like the second stamp I pull out I don't really care for I tried you see I tried to rub it off <laughs> because I just didn't like it but I spread it out a little bit more to even it out and then I've got um, a distress oxide I think and oh my gosh fossilized amber I think and I'm throwing a little bit more down on there um, just to add that touch of yellow as um, another fun color to throw in there and then I pull out I think it's picket fin oh no 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 I'm gonna cut my little bird now what I have there is just a stamped bird and it's stamped on a piece of white paper I have a like a sketchbook and I've put a bunch of stamped images that I've just um, stamped in there and so when I want a stamped image I can flip through there and find it and just pull it out so I don't have to go searching for a stamp and stamp it on something and all that I have just a little stock of it so I fussy cut that out and then I pull out the um, picket fence um, stamp pad and try to use the back of an eraser just to make some little dots it didn't work out really great but it was worth a try and then to bring that red on the other side of the page I'm using a Posca paint pen in red and just kind of randomly doodling at the I used the far end of my that pen to really get it just really sketchy and just to get some color on the page and I used the excess I cut off of the um the paper from the bird to stick down a couple of chit chat stickers these are the single words and I just picked out the words be and still the background was kind of chaos and the bird was kind of sitting in that chaos and I kind of wanted to say be still even when there's so much going on around you that you take a chance take a breath to be still so I tried to color that background with a little bit of red um, I tried a couple things a um, just like a a colored pencil and then one of the oil pastels and I really didn't like that so I used another piece of that paper and pulled those stickers just right off and stuck it back down it just shows you if you don't like something change it fix it do something different you don't have to go with that first instinct it may not work it may not be what you like um try something else so and I may have to go back to page three and do that but for now I'm keeping it and I moved on to page four and so I stuck those little pieces down and I'm just going to take a pen and draw some sketchy lines around the outside edges of this to frame it up. And that's it, guys. This little page in my small junk journal is done. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Um, here's a couple looks at it. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Thanks, y'all. Bye.